Hi everyone, it's Gina Kay from Gina Kay Designs and Stamp TV, and I'd like to welcome you back to another video featuring the brand new Autumn Stamp and Foil System by Gina Kay Designs and Thermo Web. Today I'm featuring a card project using the brand new Thankful Leaves Stamp and Foil System and a little piece of one of the new background sheets. These are the background, uh, the Bountiful Flourish background sheets, and I'm going to be using one of these flourishes for that. And the stamps I'm going to be using are the Thankful Leaves stamps. I'm going to use all different leaves in here in one of the greetings. I'm going to be die cutting some of the leaves, and I'm going to be using some of the detail sheets. So let me show you what the detail sheets look like in the Thankful Leaves collection. I have both of the options here. One of them is just the veins, and that's the one I'm going to use today. And this one is great if you're using stamping techniques with dye inks or oxide inks, things like that. This one can be stamped that way, but it's also great if you want to do some Copic coloring, colored pencils, or uh, watercolor pens like the Zig Clean Color Pen, the Arteza brushes, or Tombow Marker, something like that. So you have a lot of different options with this collection. I'm also going to be using a piece of the Bountiful uh, Flourish, and that I just cut into a tiny strip like this, and I have a little piece of white cardstock to layer that onto. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. I'm also going to be using some of the Gina K Designs craft cardstock and some honey mustard cardstock. That's going to be our base. And I'm going to be stamping these images using the solid leaf images. So I'm going to take one of the leaf images off of the carrier sheet here. And then what I'm going to do with this is the colors I'm going to use are prickly pear. This is prickly pear, honey mustard, and I'm going to use a little bit of warm cocoa. And I'm only going to use the warm cocoa on the bigger leaves. I'm going to just use these two on the smaller leaves. So I'm going to do a direct to stamp technique. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see this a little more closely. So I'm going to start with some of the prickly pear and I'm just going to ink that up a little bit Then I'm going to ink up some of the honey mustard I'm going to go back and forth with that and then a little bit of the warm cocoa in here and just like to kind of blend it out just using those ink cubes like that now I'm going to pick the coordinating veins here and I'm going to line that up just by looking at it and I'm going to stamp it. Now wherever there's some shallow spots, kind of like that look because it really does look like autumn leaves, but you can go in and you can add a little bit of yellow watercolor marker water-based marker in there and that'll just accent it even a little bit more. So that's the way I'm going to stamp that one. I'm going to do another one like that because I'm going to need two. So let's start with the prickly pear and a little bit of the honey mustard. Ooh, that is the warm cocoa. All right, that's all right. Let's do it that way then. Let's see how that turns out. Okay. A little more of this prickly pear in there. Okay. And then again, lining it up just by looking down on it. You can see I've I haven't actually inked up every part of it, so it's going to be a little bit spotty, but that's what I want because I want it to look kind of rustic. And then I'll go back in with that yellow marker. I'll fill in some of those areas that didn't get color. Okay, so you can see the two leaves are completely different looking, but that's how they are in nature and that's the look I'm going for. So now I'm gonna get another leaf I just need one of these. 
So I'll go heavy on the prickly pear on this one. And some of the honey mustard down this side. And just a little bit of the warm cocoa up in here. Okay. And this one I'm going to stamp over this detail sheet. And you can see how spotty I have it on there. I want it to look like that on purpose. And then I'm going to go back in with some of that yellow. All right. Now I'm going to do the two smaller leaves. So I'll take this solid one here and I'm just going to use the two lighter colors. So let me get rid of the warm cocoa. So this one I'll start with prickly pear and I'll finish it off down here with some honey mustard. And I'll stamp this one. And add a little of that yellow in there. I like to add it right away because while the ink is still wet, you'll start to notice how smoothed out everything starts to look once it starts to dry. And then I'm going to do that last leaf here. Same thing, the same two colors. We'll do the honey mustard more at the top on this one. And we'll finish off down here in the prickly pear. And we'll stamp that. And add a little bit of that yellow down in there. So if you want, you could stamp the entire sheet and then cut everything out and just leave those other leaves for your next card project, or you can just put them away because maybe next time you want to do different shades of blue or purple or reds and oranges. So you don't know what you're in the mood for. You can save them till later. Now I'm going to use this big greeting that says, thankful for a friend like you. And I'm going to stamp that right away onto my craft cardstock. So I'm going to need a bit of a bigger block for that. And I'm going to stamp this using some of the charcoal brown ink. And charcoal brown is always a great option when you don't want to use black, but you really want something dark. So that's going to go down here like that. All right. Put that aside. Now it's time to cut these out. And just like I did with my sunflowers, I've already made a little template that I'm going to use as my guide for these tiny little leaves. Because these dies are closed down at the end, as you can see, you want to make sure that you're able to get that stem. So what you can do is you can cut these leaves out first and then just tape that down. And then you can, actually I'm going to move it over a bit. Then you can find the perfect spot so that the white is even all around like that. And then just tape that down. I'm using purple tape to tape everything down. And then you can drop your leaf in until you feel it click into place, your die. And then you can tape that down and cut. And that's gonna make sure that the stem and everything is exactly where you want it to be. Okay. Now I'm going to do the next one. Same way. All right. Get that lined 
up how you want it. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep cutting this. I'm not going to bore you with all of the cutting details, but as soon as I'm done, I'll come back and we can assemble this card project. Now that I have all of my leaves cut out and I have this little strip cut out and ready to go, it's time to foil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the wild dandelion foil and I'm going to foil, foil all of this at one time. So I'm going to lay all of my leaves in here. Get them all set up. And then I'm going to put this strip in here as well. And then I have one large piece of foil that I'm going to put all over the entire thing and I'm going to send that through my mink. I'm just going to hold that and make sure that none of the pieces slip or fall out and make sure everything grabs properly. I'm not actually pushing on it, I'm just supporting it. And so now I have a piece of honey mustard cardstock folded in half and ready as a card base. And then I've got my piece of craft cardstock here ready to go. Now this strip is going to go right on top like this. Now this is coming out and it's just a little bit warm still. So I'm going to give it just a second to cool. Before I grab it. And now I can peel and reveal all of the beautiful leaves and that border. So here we go. Look at that. That's so pretty. This one. Here's the strip. Oh, they're so beautiful one. One of the little ones. And here's another one of the little ones. Okay. So now I'm going to lay these out. So the first thing I want to do is put my strip together. So I'm going to use some of the Thermoweb Sticky Dot Runner. You know this is my favorite kind of tape. And then I'm going to lay these together. Make sure that that border looks even and it's okay if it goes off the edge a little bit. All right. And then I have my paper cutter here. So I'm gonna cut that little free edge off of there and then I'm going to place that where I want it and I want that just to be a border over the words so I'm going to tape that down probably turn this machine off so it's not buzzing I'm going to put that into place where I want it like that. And then I'm going to cut that excess off. There we go. So now I have my perfect border there. Now I'm going to lay my leaves on and I'm going to, I'm going to place one like that. And this one's going to be on this end. And this one I'll put here and then I'll put the little ones in the middle here. A little bit of my purple guide is stuck on there. 
and then I'll have that one coming down like that. So I'm going to tape those into place. I like to do my end ones first. Make sure they look pretty even. And I'll put the middle one in the middle. <laughs> Actually, let me get tape on all the back of these and then I can lay them out. There we go, like that. Get a little tape under that. Okay, so now all the excess that's hanging out, I'm going to just trim that off by flipping this around. You can see I stamped something wrong on the one side there. I'm just trimming off the excess so now it all fits in there perfectly. You can see what that looks like. So now I'm going to show you my finished card project because you don't need to see me tape these pieces together. So what I did was I took this panel and then I added a little white border to it and then I mounted the whole thing on a piece of honey mustard cardstock. And look at all of that beautiful sparkle and shine. I hope you've enjoyed today's Stamp TV video. All of the brand new Autumn Stamp and Foil products are now available at GinaKDesigns.com, Thermoweb.com, and an online or brick and mortar store near you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon on Stamp TV.